Hello guys and welcome to Crunch Map. Today we're going to be going over all the SAT resources and we're going to be ranking them on a tier list to see what's the best. The first one we're going to go over is one that's going to help you write a solid base and that's going to be different just rules, books that go over rules. This is like the SAT grammar. You'll learn about all the different grammar you're going to need to use on the SAT. But then you're going to have other ones that may be focused on algebra. These ones are good if you want a solid base and you're confused about certain rules, but in terms of longevity and actually studying the practice test, getting you to see adaptability, these ones aren't going to be as useful, but if you're worried about concepts, I'd highly recommend these. But because there are limiting factors, I'm going to rank this book at C. All right, the next one we're going to go over is also good but it's a little bit better, especially when it's more practice tests. That's gonna be the College of Boards Digital SAT Study Guide. This one's good for the fact that you get actual practice tests and they have the two modules. The problem is the practice test one and three are gonna only have easier module tools. Well, module two and four are gonna have harder. This makes it harder to measure the adaptability of it. And the thing is these tests are the same ones you're gonna practice on Blue Book. And so they lack adaptability, but these are good um, exams to take, especially if you're worried, maybe I won't get that harder module when I take practice tests two or four. And the other good thing is they'll make the transition, if you're worried about it, from paper to online much easier as you're first going to get used to the two modules and you can gradually transfer to online and digital if you're worried about that. But this is a really solid, super solid um, resource. And I rank this around a B tier. All right, the next one is one of the game changers for me. This game changer is going to be the Princeton review books. We have two of them right here. We got the 2024 one and the 2025 ones. These ones are super, super good because they'll have multiple practice tests. And the good thing about these ones is that they have the easier and the harder module. So you can practice on both sides. If you're worried and you want to get a bigger base before moving on to those harder modules, try the easier ones and you'll be able to have the harder ones. Additionally, the good thing I say about these is that these ones I'd say have harder tests compared to the ones on Blue Book and College Board's Digital SAT Study Guide. These ones have solid tests that will really train your knowledge and provide you a stronger grasp. From my own point of view and from my own experience and my siblings experience when we use this we felt heavily prepared for the SAT because these tests these problems are usually harder than the actual SAT another good thing about these is when you type in the the actual book and prove that you bought it you'll have access to online resources Yes, you do have to pay for the book, but these online resources are super good because not only do you now have a transition from paper to digital, you can actually train on digital and test that adaptability. So these ones are definite S tier. These ones are super, super good and I highly recommend them, especially if you want great practice tests that are going to be harder than the actual test generally. All right, the next one we're gonna go over is gonna be actually the Blue Book. Blue Book is super good. As you have, I think, six practice tests that are all adaptable. They train your timing and they'll get you really used to that test setting, especially with the different features on it. You'll have things like the MCQ where you can eliminate different things, a line reader. You'll obviously have access to Desmos. And that one's a really solid one. My own problem is that is sometimes the problems I feel from my own point of view and my own experience is they can be a little bit easier than you actually see at the SAT. But these ones are very solid, but they are a little bit easier than the Princeton review. But if you want to get used to what you're going to see on test day, the exact um, features, I definitely recommend it. I definitely recommend it. And for that reason, it's going to be A tier. The next one we're going over is one a lot of people use, and that is Khan Academy. Khan Academy is super good, but the problem is, is that it lacks in um, 
in difficulty. Yes, you'll have hard problems, but it's not going to be as good as what you're going to get in things like Princeton and possibly the College Board Test. But the thing that Khan Academy specializes in, free resources, it's approved by College Board, and it provides you a great basis for basic knowledge and grammatical rules and algebra and different math rules, and which is why it's super good. And then you can also just go off on Khan Academy and find different things to specialize your knowledge on a certain focus. These ones I'd say are maybe a high B tier or a lower A tier, just because of the lack of difficulty at some points. But definitely do it if you want to develop a foundation, a super strong foundation to go on and tackle those college word tests and the Princeton test. Now, the next one we're actually going to go is another college word resource you may not know about. College word has an SAT question soup bank of over 1,000 questions to test your knowledge, ranked by three difficulties. This will show you how not only college word ranks their difficulty, but how they divide the different sections. They have things like algebra, their statistics, their trigonometry and geometry, their nonlinear parts, and it's all it's all organized. So you can practice your knowledge. Sometimes some questions will be easier, but you'll run into those super challenging ones. I'm gonna link all these resources in the description. I heavily recommend you check out this question soup bank, especially if you know your weak points, you can then dive into them and figure out what you want to do. The one thing remember is you're going based on your own pace on those. It's nothing timed. You just do the questions you want. But it's still a super, super great resource. And I'd argue it's an A tier or a possible S tier just because of its specialization and ability to target your weaknesses and improve on them. That brings me to the last one. The last one is going to be YouTube and different online resources. Here on YouTube, you have a wide array of SAT, of SAT guides, SAT tutoring, and SAT just hardest problems. And these will really help you. Hey, I'm struggling reading. We can go check that out. Or hey, I'm struggling with algebra. I'm sure I can find a video. And these ones are super good. And here on Crunch Math, we're going to be building on this. We're going to be doing each section on the SAT, and we're going to be going over each video, particularly on the math sections. And then from these, sometimes they'll provide classes. For us, Crunch Math, we provide free online resources with free classes where we've held things like digital PSAT workshops. And usually these are all easy access to you, the person who wants to improve their score. And these are phenomenal things. And I especially recommend you can also go on shorts and on shorts, if you're worried, Hey, I'm worried about something iffy and I, or I'm going to 10 minutes before my SAT or an hour before my SAT. I want to do a quick practice problem. Just look up shorts and you'll find a wide array of them here on crunch math and on tons of different channels. You'll find some of the best resources, especially here on crunch math. So I really hope you stick around for those future videos. And because of the, all the wide variety of things you have because of its free and affordable nature it's a definite s tier for you and that's going to be the end of our tier list all these resources will be linked within the description and we highly recommend that you check them out this is a quick video now, but I really hope it provides you with valid information to help you improve on your scores and help you do better for the SAT. I'll see you all next time. Thank you.